Hi guys, it is an unbelievably, spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise along the shores of Twin Lakes, California. I got to get out here and enjoy my last weekend in this paradise. So, but before I do, before I dive into this lake, let me dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of alert listeners. And actually, we're going to do two comments because both of these comments are offering two quotes. So we're going to get two more quotes of the day and two comments of the day all rolled up into one. First, I want to thank Hyacinth Bucket. Hyacinth Bucket for recommending probably the most correct advice I have received from a philosopher. And this would be the philosopher Soren Kierkegaard. Quote, Marry and you will regret it. Don't marry, you will also regret it. Marry or don't marry, you will regret it either way. Laugh at the world's foolishness, you will regret it. Weep over it, you will regret that too. Laugh at the world's foolishness or weep over it, you will regret both. Believe a woman, you will regret it. Believe her not, you will also regret it. Hang yourself, you will regret it. Do not hang yourself, and you will regret that too. Hang yourself or don't hang yourself, you'll regret it either way. Whether you hang yourself or do not hang yourself, you will regret both. This, gentlemen, is the essence of all philosophy. From philosophers to poets, I want to thank Jerry I for uh, sending me this quote from American poet Charles Bukowski. I'm surprised I've never had a Charles Bukowski quote of the day. <clears throat> quote, the problem was you had to keep choosing between one evil or another, and no matter what you chose, they sliced a little bit more off you until there was nothing left. At the age of 25, most people were finished. A whole goddamned nation of assholes driving automobiles, eating, having babies, doing everything in the worst way possible, like voting for the presidential candidate who reminded them most of themselves. I had no interests. I had no interest in anything. I had no idea how I was going to escape. At least the others had some taste for life. They seemed to understand something that I did not understand. Maybe I was lacking. It was possible I often felt inferior. I just wanted to get away from them. But there was no place to go. Thank you, Charles Bukowski. I guess Charles Bukowski never made it to the banks of Twin Lakes. But I have made it to the banks of Twin Lakes, and it looks like I'm being joined by about 100,000 of my fellow Americans. But uh, this too shall pass. I'm going to get out there and enjoy the end times while I still can and encourage you to do the same. Bye, guys.